Welcome to my channel Math with Nazia. In this channel, you will find a lot of tips and tricks across all the topics in math. If you are new to this channel, click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you get a regular updates of all my videos. So, in this video, we are going to learn about IMO SOF class 6. I have taken sample papers of previous year and we are going to solve it. These are very important questions. These type of questions would come in your IMO exam this year. So these are all logical reasoning questions. So let's see the first question for today. So the first question is, John wants to save $50 to buy a pair of roller blades. He plans to save 2 in first month, $4 in second month, $6 in third month. If John continues this saving pattern, then how many months will John take to save $50? So, let's split the question. So, John wants to save $50. First month, what is he planning? First month, he's planning to save $2. And second month, he will be uh, saving four dollars third month six dollars so this keeps continuously continuously two dollars four dollars six dollars he keeps increasing his money so we have to find out which month he will save the fifty dollars either fifty exactly fifty or little above fifty so that he is able to buy his roller blades so the option given to us is five months seven months nine months and three months so now let's see how to solve it. Now let's solve this question. So totally he wants to save $50. First month he's saving $2. I have put this table for you to understand. So the first month, so the month number one, he's saving $2. So total saving for that month is $2. And now he's going to save on the second month, he's going to save $4. So second month he is saving 4. So 2 plus 4 would become 6. So the total saving at the end of second month is 6. Now let's see the third month he is saving 6 dollars. So the third month he is saving 6 dollars. So the total is either you can just directly add 6 plus 6 or you can totally add this 2 plus 4 plus 6 which is 12. So at the end of the third month it is 12 dollars but we need 50 dollars. So now let's see the fourth month. So the fourth month he will save. Right, he's going to save $8 because $2, $4, $6 and then it is 8. So 12 plus 8 will become 20. So this is also not sufficient. So let's see on the fifth month how much he's saving. He's going to save $10. So now he has saved $10. Already he has $20 at the end of fourth month. So at the end of the fifth month he will be having $30. Now, $30 is also not sufficient. Now, let's see the sixth month. Sixth month, he's going to save $12. So, 30 plus 12, which will be 42. So, this also is not enough. We need 50. So, we need 8 more dollars. But on the seventh month, he's going to save $14. So, 42 plus 14 will become 56. So, at the end of the seventh month, he is saving $56 but we want only $50. So at the end of the 7th month John is able to buy his pair of roller blades. So the right answer here is 7 months. So the option B is correct. I hope this method was easy for you to understand. So always whenever we have uh, word problems break it into small parts so that you will be able to understand this. So if you found this video interesting, click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so that you get a regular updates of all my videos. And if you like this video, click on the like button. Now let's see the second question for today. So here is our second question. So second question is rearrange the following letters to make a single meaningful English word and then choose the category to which it belongs. So they have given us few alphabets. 
we have to rearrange it in a one single word which will give us a meaning and we have to see which category does it belong so we have f g o r we have to see is it belongs to city animal vegetable or a person so as you could see we have f g o r do we have any city with these alphabets no we don't have any city here and when you rearrange this what can we get uh, any animal we can try it as frog f r o g frog we have f r o g as frog so frog is an animal we can't do any vegetable f g o r there is no vegetable there is no person raj if no there is nothing else vegetable or a person so the right answer is animal isn't it very easy now let's see the third question for today so now let's see the third question for today which is two triangles equals one square one triangle and one square and one triangle and one square equals two circles one triangle equals 50 using the above diagram using the diagram above which of the following statement is true so this question looks little tricky but it is very easy to solve whatever is given to us let's see two triangles is equal to one square there are two squares and one triangle and one triangle one square equals two circle here the value of triangle is given but we don't know what is the value of a square and a circle so we have to find the value of a square and a circle but what are the options given to us they have told us the circle is less than triangle or a square is greater than a circle a triangle is less than square and the d option is a triangle is less than circle so we have these four options so to find which statement is right we have to solve so now let's find the value of a square and a circle because we know already the value of a triangle so let's take the first thing which is given to us which is two triangles equals there are there is a square a triangle and again a square this is what is given to us so now when we solve it as you could see there are triangles on both the sides so let me cross out one triangle this side and one triangle this side so now we have one triangle equals two square so we know that one triangle equals two square it is little bit cross okay so this is two square so now we know the value of a triangle so the value of a triangle is 50 so 50 is the value of now two squares we know the value of two squares is 50 so i'll just write two square so now we have to find the value of one square so two square is 50 so therefore the value of one square will be right so the value of one square would be Twenty five because the value of two squares were fifty, so the value of one square is twenty five. So we have found the value of the square. Now let's find the value of the circle. So we have found the value of a square is twenty five. Value of a triangle we already know, which is fifty. Let me box this out so that you remember the values. The value of a triangle is fifty. Value of a square is twenty five. So now let's apply this in the second part. The second part, what is given to us is a triangle and a square equals two circle, right? Now let's see what is the value of a triangle. Let's write the equation. What is given? A triangle and a square is equal to two circles. So and we don't know the value of a circle, but we know the value of a triangle and a square. So a triangle is fifty. Plus a square is twenty-five equals two circles. So fifty plus twenty-five is seventy-five equals two circles. So when two circles is twenty seventy-five, what is the therefore the value of one circle is right? When we have to divide this by two, seventy-five divided by two, we get it as thirty-seven point five. So now we have found the value of the circle, which is thirty-seven point five. Now we have got the value of all the three. symbols which is given triangle is 
square is 25 and circle is 37.5. So now is it easy to find which option is right? Now we have found the value of all the three. Now let's see which is which statement is right. Let's see the first statement. Circle is less than a triangle. So as you could see a circle here is 37.5 but a triangle is 50. So obviously a circle is less than the triangle. So this option is right. So since we have got one answer right, it is not like you should not check the other four options given. Let's check whether other four options anything else is right. Sometimes there may be two answers also but mostly there will be only one answer. So but let's recheck it. A square is greater than circle. A square is 25. Is it greater than 37.5? No. So our B option is not right. Let's see our C option which is a triangle is less than a square. A triangle is 50 which is less than 25. No that is also not right. Now let's see the D option which is a triangle is less than circle. A triangle is 50. It is not less than 37.5. So our first answer is right. So isn't it easy? We saw usually these type of questions are always asked in an IMO exam. I hope this method was easy for you to understand. And if you found the video interesting, click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so that you get a regular updates of all my videos. And if you like the video, do not forget to click on the like button. Now, Let's see the fourth question for today. As you could see, this diagram is given. This looks little tricky, but it is a very easy question to solve. And it is based on logical and reasoning skill. This type of question are always asked in an IMO exam. So let's see how to solve this question. According to the diagram, how many students have more than one favorite book type where the value of X is 1? So here there are three types of books. First book is a fantasy book, a biography book and a mystery book. Here there are three types of books given. Fantasy, biography and mystery. The question asked is how many students have more than one favorite book? Here the value of x is 1. So each x uh, resembles one student. So when we want to see more than one, so let's see the common part. So this is the common part here. So in the common part, as you could see, there is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are altogether eight students who have more than one book. So these two have fantasy and mystery as favorite. These four people have biography and mystery as favorite. And one student is there who has all the books as favorite. So altogether there are eight people favorite you will not see the separate ones you will see only the common part this this part this part or this all these four parts so according to these four parts there are eight students who have more than one book as common so eight is the right answer so if you found this video interesting click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so that you get a regular updates of all my videos and if you liked the video do click on the like button and these are the four questions for this part and in the second part we will do we will be doing still more questions so click on the bell icon so that you will be updated for the next part and thank you for watching till the end